Hi guys, welcome to my November Beauty Hits and Misses. I have some foundations to show you guys as well as few lip products and some body products. So I have the Espoir uh, Pro Taylor Liquid Foundation EX with SPF 25 PA Double Pluses. And this is something that I was attracted to because I saw this brush. So this is Espoir Pro Taylor Face Curved Brush or Curved Face Brush. And I found out that if I buy this foundation I get this brush for free at that time this is a foundation that was released I believe early fall or late summer and that was the deal that they were having uh, when this first came out but now I think they sell these separately but I was also told that a lot of stores are sold out of this brush because everyone seems to love it I love how unique it is I'm just attracted to novelty I think when it comes to makeup skincare and other stuff as well it's a very unique brush it fits really well into the curvatures of your face and I find that it works well with many different liquid foundations especially moisturizing liquid foundation I will have a full review of this brush as well as another Espoir brush that I picked up I do have a picture on my Instagram of uh, those two products as well as the Espoir version of Beauty Blender the orange one it kind of looks like a blender or a sponge from Real Techniques right but in this video I'm gonna talk about this foundation and this has been a huge 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 disappointment I was looking forward to trying this because I haven't tried many Korean foundations this brand claimed to be kind of like a professional brand like a makeup brand and they had eight different shades for this foundation and eight different shades for foundation may not seem like a lot but for a Korean cosmetics brand that is a lot right but even within those eight shades I couldn't find my perfect shade the one that I got is tan light but it's slightly too light for me this foundation foundation it is not long lasting it lasts maybe about three hours at the most and if I use a good primer and a good finishing powder maybe it will last slightly more than three hours without shifting um, it transfers very easily even if I touch my face very lightly it leaves a fingerprint and it just gets everywhere it never sets it gives uh, this almost like um, what Koreans call it bulwang, which is like a watery glowy skin right so it gives a dewy finish not the kind of glow or illumination that you get from a powder illuminator or highlighter which looks beautiful it looks beautiful but the problem is that it doesn't last long it gives a light uh, coverage and you can't go beyond light because when you try to build it the foundation just shifts around a lot it just does not adhere well onto your skin it just sits on top of your skin I've tried uh, different types of primers different types of brushes sponges beauty blender if you are someone who has normal skin that's almost perfect and you want that dewy glowy finish and you don't mind retouching your foundation maybe every hour and a half kind of thing then maybe you might want to try this but I don't know who who wants to do that if you guys know of any uh, good Korean brand foundation please let me know I would love to try it uh, next is this Dior skin nude air serum foundation this is called nude healthy glow ultra fluid serum foundation with SPF 25 PA double pluses this foundation I picked up because when I tried it at the counter um, it has the same fluid texture and consistency as one of my favorite Favorite foundation from Giorgio Armani which is the Maestro uh, Fusion Makeup. This one is also better suited for normal to um, oily skin and my skin right now is dry everywhere with just oily t-zones so this is definitely not the foundation for me right now but i think there is a good chance that i might like this a lot more when summer comes or when my skin just isn't as dry and combination as it is right now so this gives a medium coverage that is easier to build than this one it gives a really nice a smooth um, it's kind of like that dry oil finish. When you touch a dry oil, it feels kind of oily. And when you put it on your skin, it looks oily, but it gets absorbed 
within seconds and your skin is just soft, right? This works kind of like that. Very fluid when you first see it, but within seconds, it gets all nicely blended, gives you a nice satin, almost powdery-like finish. So this really does feel like you don't have foundation on. That's why I really like this, but just for my current uh, skin type, it's too drying. Uh, within about a few hours, it will settle into my fine lines and make it really dry out and show dry patches. I think it's also mix of cold weather right now, so it's just not working for me. Now I have some lip products to show you guys. This cute little product is from Code Glow Color, which is, I believe it's a brand from uh, Kathy Cat, which is a Korean cosmetics brand. They have some cool products. So this is the Moomin Edition lip balm called M Tint Lip Balm from Code Glow Color. And this is the medium cherry red that I have. So this is an amazing lip balm. It's so long lasting. I'm actually wearing this on my lips right now. And I applied this about uh, three hours ago, right before I left work. And I feel like it still feels very comfortable. And it's still somewhat pigmented for a lip balm. I can definitely build this up and make it look more pigmented. Um, but because this is a lip balm type of product, it's never gonna be pigmented as a lipstick, right? But the point of this for me is that it's just as soothing and comforting as a lip balm and it gives a decent pigmented lip color and it smells like Jolly Rancher. Next, I have this Dior product and 3C. So this was recently released. Okay, not so recently. It was released sometime this year, I believe. I picked up this color 667 Avenue, which is a color that I already have in the Dior Addict Extreme Lip Lipstick line. This one, it comes with this um, engraving in the middle that runs all the way through the tube and it is a Hydra Gel Core uh, type of thing that's supposed to give you added shine and make your uh, lip color last longer so it acts as a top coat I believe I think that's what I read somewhere and I find that compared to the Dior Addict Extreme the shine does last longer and the lip color does last longer too and the pigmentation is about the same right so you know why would I not like this more? The last lip product is my favorite red for this winter. So this is 3C Jumbo Lip Crayon in Mad Red. It's a nice brick red color. So I can use this as a regular lip color, lipstick, and just apply this all over my lips. Or I can use this to create a really easy um, gradient lip look. Because this is moisturizing, it blends and smudges very easily. And I can also just get some of the product on my finger and just dab it on my lips for that um, barely there kind of tinted lip look, right? So I love how I can use it in different ways and I also love how this lip crayon is not dry. Now on to some exciting body products. This is something that I discovered this year, but I bought this product, the L'Occitane Youthful Body Velvet Balm because I'm a big fan of uh, the firming and smoothing uh, is it? Firming and Smoothing Milk Concentrate from L'Occitane. I think this is my fourth one and I went back to L'Occitane, this was a few months ago, to repurchase this again. But instead, I picked up this one because this is something that came out this year. I'm not sure if it's a limited edition, um, but this promises moisturizing properties of this product, but it also helps to even out and brighten your skin tone. And for me, I get tan really easily, but I also get discolored very easily. Uh, not only on my face, but on my body too. So I was really excited to try this, but I found that not only is this product uh, thicker in consistency, almost balm-like uh, compared to this one, because this is like a light cream lotion-like. It's not as moisturizing as this, it's harder to spread on the skin <laughs> compared to this. It also doesn't get absorbed well into the skin as this one does. So overall, uh, this product is better. 
but I thought, okay, still, if it at least helps to even out my skin tone, I'm still gonna somewhat like this because I do understand that a lot of skincare products, when it has brightening properties or if it's supposed to help even out your skin tone, they're usually not as moisturizing compared to the ones that don't do those things. So I thought, okay, at least it's, this is gonna help even out and brighten my skin tone, but it did not do that. Very huge disappointment because it smells amazing. It smells like strawberry cream that's kind of blended with almond and it smells heavenly and I would totally recommend this to people still just to just for the sake of the scent but at this price point I would not recommend this to anyone because it just if you want to spend this money you might as well buy this because this product is so worth it whereas this is not. In this product, I did do a full review on my blog of this as well as the shower wash that comes from the same line as well as a body oil spray. Um, that was like a few months ago but I will post a link to that blog review down below in the info area. I really do love this Dr. Jar Ceramidin body oil and this is something that you can use in the shower or right after you come out of the shower. It gets absorbed better into your skin uh, when your skin is still moist. When you try to apply this on dry skin you will just end up using more of the product and it doesn't get absorbed into the skin as well what I've been doing is using this right after shower or in the shower and then using this product on top and I find that of course you know two step and two products it is more moisturizing than uh, these products on their own but what I really like is this one here Kiehl's creme de corpse grapefruit whipped body butter this is so heavenly even the scent this grapefruit citrusy scent that's slightly mixed with shea butter kind of oh this has shea butter and jojoba butter so maybe that's what it is but it's whipped into this fluffy uh, texture and it just melts on your skin so easily and when I use these two together I find that my skin stays so comfortable and moist and that refreshing fresh scent lasts all day long but i also like these two separately i like this as a light moisturizing kind of a skin shield and i feel like it kind of seals in and kind of locks in your uh my skin's own oil on the bottle it says suitable for extremely dry cracked skin i don't agree with this because i don't have extremely dry skin i don't have cracked skin and i find that it's still not moisturizing enough for my skin in this weather so um i think if you are extremely dry and you have cracked skin um you should probably use Use this in combination with something else like maybe something like this or something maybe even more heavy duty so i hope you guys enjoyed my november beauty hits and misses if you guys have any questions or comments please feel free to leave it in the comments area and also do let me know if you have any recent beauty hits and misses and i will see you guys in my next video